So boys, I thought I'd do a video today about a player who divides, uh, still divides opinion between lots of Newcastle United fans. And the player I'm going to go for is Hatem Ben Arfa. For me, Hatem Ben Arfa is one of the most talented players we've had in, in terms of individual ability. He was um, a great signing when we got him from, uh, from Marseille. He'd had a interesting start he was one of the highest rated youngsters french international played for lyon ps in lyon marseille played for some big clubs um, when he came to newcastle um when we got him i was excited to see because i'd heard about him and he i remember he was constantly linked with arsenal before us so clearly at the time you know wenger's arsenal teams had these great uh, number 10s and the fact that we got him I remember his goal against Everton which was a great goal from outside the box and then obviously they bro he broke his leg with that Nigel de Jong challenge now for me Ben Arthur was and is on his day one of the best players I've seen live his goal against Bolton his goal against Blackburn some of the goals he would get away from home I remember a game when we were playing Bolton away and he the game we were really bad not not at all at the races he came on first ball in goal and I think players appreciated playing with him now he had a for me when he was on his top form my one issue with him he never played well against the big six so he would always struggle to impose himself and it's usually because teams would double up on him but when we played smaller teams he was fine I was um, very surprised when Pardew started to blame him and criticise him for a lot of the shortcomings in the team when for me he was still our best attacking player at the time. Um, I think if you look at his career um, he is perfect for clubs like Newcastle, like Nice where he's the star man, he's the one the teams go to but when he went to PSG for instance he just his attitude wasn't right he he fell out with Unai Emery he the stories are that he used to mock Unai Emery's French accent and you know his PSG spell was let's be honest for him it was atrocious and that should have been him at his peak that should have been him showing everyone this talent that we see because dribbling wise going past people shooting from outside the box he was right up there um I feel still that some Newcastle fans, we didn't appreciate. The one issue I have in particular is that people were like, oh, he shouldn't play, he shouldn't play, he's lazy. But the alternative at the time was Gabriel Obertam. And I haven't, when no one can tell me, I'd rather a lazy Ben Arthur than Gabriel Obertam every single time. But at the time, the manager Pardew felt that Obertam was put more to the team more effort and I think this was a thing through Ben Arthur's career that talent wise he should always be playing but in terms of application I think he will look back on his career and whilst he's played for France he's won trophies he will look back and he will be like mm, did I really make the most of it could I have got more caps for France could I like for me he could he should have easily been playing for you know one of the top four sides you know there was this time when he was linked with Barcelona I remember he could have easily if he'd applied himself so he'll look back on his career but I'd like to hear what your thoughts are on Ben Arthur and uh, let give me a like and a subscribe this is a new channel I'm trying to get it going and I'll be doing more videos like this thanks